I'm Clytie Campbell. I'm a ballet master here at the RNZB and I'm the stager for Liam Scarlett's A Midsummer Night's Dream. We're here in the Opera House in Wellington, uh, sitting amongst the set. This is Titania's pod uh, from our wonderful set designer, Tracy Grantlord. I was a dancer in the company when Liam created Dream back in 2015 and I was so pleased to hear that Patricia had programmed Dream for 2021. It's just such a beautiful production with really fun roles and fun, so many fun characters. Hermia was actually my final performance when I retired at the end of 2016 to become Ballet Master, so it holds a very special place in my heart. It's exciting to see the dancers come on stage the first time when they first see the set, and we've been talking about it in the studio, but when they see it up here and built, they get really excited. The whole set for this ballet is it's definitely a highlight, like taking it from, from the studio to the stage. I would say that that was one of the things that added so much to, to the character and to the story. The role of Titania is beautiful and really enjoyable. Um, it's one of those roles where you get to really let loose and feel like a ballerina. You have two partners, you're the queen, you have all these fairies that are dancing around you for like a big part of it. Um, so you really feel like on top of this magical world. Oh, so I've just come off from the kind of opening of the show, um, which is pretty intense for me. It's quite long. <laughs> There's like a little duet where me and Titania fight over the changeling and she wins and I get super angry. Honestly, usually so angry that I get like a little Charlie horse in my finger. And for some reason, like, my fist goes so hard. And then I have to release it. <laughs> my fingers go like that, and that one's really stuck. And I don't know what I'm talking about. But that's just the hardships of what we do, I guess. So now I'm running to climb up, like, what feels like a hundred ladder rungs. That's really probably like 10. But I do it like a hundred times. <laughs> um, and I have to go spy on Kate and Laurie, who are... Hermia and Lysander. This is kind of where all the chaos starts. I like tell Puck the wrong thing and everyone falls in love with the wrong person and it's really important that I make it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew the pilot started at a high point and we had to go down steps, but I didn't realize how high the set was and how we have to climb a ladder. It's a bit tricky on point shoes, obviously, and you're wearing this like glorious dress and you're climbing a ladder. I usually go first and then my partner goes after me. And while I'm up there waiting for him, as he goes up, the whole set kind of like moves. And you're just like, it's fine, it's cool, you're not an earthquake, like we're not falling. It's coming down the steps then, because you are so high and you're trying to come down the steps and you're a queen and you're a fairy and Nothing really bothers you except that you're going down steps and you're wearing point shoes So you're trying to look like all elegant as you're going down and you're like smiling and your feet are like Trying to like not um, trip over the stairs It's pretty high, I, but I'm not scared for heights so it's kind of enjoying My roll pack is really like cheeky, um, energetic character. So I need to bring up the energy from the beginning of the show. So 120% um, from like the beginning of the show through the end. It's like, you know how tired you are? <laughs> like, it's, um, it's challenging for me. My name's Saul Newport. I'm a dancer with RZB and I am playing Bottom tonight, um, partnering with Titania. Um, it's probably the hardest part because you can't see everywhere. Um, you can only really see out and not down. Um, but yeah, it's been, it's been a fun, fun journey. How do you spin in the land in the right spot? Uh, oh, that's just magic. <laughs> Thank you.
Hi, my name is Sarah and I play one of the lovers, Helena, in A Midsummer's Night Dream. Helena is a comedic character. She um, is desperately in love with a guy that is not in love with her. Um, so the first part of the ballet, I am trying to get his attention and um, get him to love me. So it's a, it's a pretty fun role. Um, it's probably the first uh, comedic role I've played. And um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I definitely have a dialogue in my head that goes on. I, I almost develop a certain conversation in my head that probably uses a, a funny voice, um, how I think she would say things. And when I'm trying to um, grab Paul's attention, who I dance with, um, I tend to also say it in my head so it's more believable uh, through my movements. Hi, I'm Catherine, and I'm playing Peace Blossom, which is one of the four lead fairies. The fairies are cheeky. They like to play with Puck when he is kind of supposed to be working for Oberon, so we're distracting him. And um, Titania is always wary of us, so she's always telling us to settle down and, uh, and just stay out of trouble. When Liam came to create the ballet, I was the original cast of the Purple Fairy, so it's a really fun role to to revisit because I loved performing it the first time and um, there's a lot of mannerisms that naturally come back even the second time, but then it's we've had the time to even add more on top of that. Um, and it's just, it's very playful and it's fun. Liam was amazing to have in the studio. He is such a, a brilliant, brilliant actor and he would show all the roles and he would totally become that role when he was showing it. Whether it was Titania or Oberon or a rustic or a fairy, he could completely embody every character, which was very impressive to see and gave us all a very clear idea of his vision for, for the show. A lot of choreographers kind of go between storytelling and then they do dances and then they do storytelling and then they do dances, but he had really had a gift of being able to tell the story with the steps. He made everyone feel incredibly valued and he was so encouraging to, to everyone to bring out the best individually. He worked very, very fast and he was incredibly musical. He'd walk around with the score and he'd choreograph from the score and you know, there were a couple of times when he said to the piano, you know, you're not playing this melody and kind of pointed out in the score the, the notes that the, the pianist was missing. So like his attention to detail, I haven't, I haven't worked personally with anyone with, with, with the same level that he had. There's so many details and I think that's why so many people are so happy to watch this ballet over and over again. I know people um, that've watched the ballet seven times. The dancers look great and the audience is loving it. It's a shame we can't tour all around New Zealand, but I think that we can bring you this. A digital broadcast is fantastic for everyone.